please subscribe to my channel. And remember, enjoy the show. And we are back with the, the pirate fleet. <laughs> so today, uh, in the Takehitsu Gaming channel, we will uh, look at the destroying people with our vampire pirates. I am not very good at this whole pirate uh, vampire accent, so I figured I would just kind of do something uh, creepy in between and make it work, yes. But, uh, so today... We will be destroying somebody. I don't know who yet, but we will be destroying somebody. Alrighty. So let's see here. I'm um, pretty sure we already killed the orc guys, and I'm not completely positive, but I'm pretty sure we also already killed Gentleman Jenkins once. Let's double check. Under the recruit arrangements of renown, um, I have one cat. <clears throat> and that would appear to be it. <clears throat> Hmm. So we could kill this guy, the Freebooters of Port Royale, but we have something else that we are looking at, and it's these exotic goods guys. They're currently up here somewhere, and we have to go destroy them. So I'm going to take both my fleets up there and try and do that. Might just have to kill this guy because he's looking at me funny. Alright, this guy's looked at me funny long enough. He's gonna die. <clears throat> you will be destroyed by my pirate empire, fool. Uh, this guy right here. You get to die. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so first one is first. We will go to you, Jacqueline Sinksville. And uh, you move there. Ahoy, bitches! Time to die. <laughs> oh, you run away. You run away. Of course. And since this battle is so, like, one-sided, I'm literally just going to automate it. Because there's no point in manually doing that. Destroyed. Hmm. Planish our health. Or treasure. Uh, we don't really need the treasure, so we're going to replenish health. Okay, we defeated the following army in battle. The pirate known as Lucky Levi's met his end. At the hands of his own men after dabbling in black magic with his lucky rabbit's foot. The fool was trying to raise zombie deckhands for his crew, but his first mate was not best pleased at being replaced by the walking dead, and so shivved his captain while he slept. But Levi's undead mob continued to serve their master, throwing the first mate and the rest of the living crew overboard, and scuppered Levi's ship. I get lucky Levi's, uh... Where was that? Keepsake? So, it unlocks the Regiment of Renown of the Black Spot Zombie Pirate Gunnery Mob with handguns. Alright. So, we go into Count Noctilus. Let's see what they look like first. Okay, they're rifle guys. Which is good. So, I'm actually going to go here. You're going to come here. And you're going to... Where are the... 
Why do I have handgunners over here? I don't like handgunners. They're kind of not as useful as rifles. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and four. So if I want to do this right, I'm going to take one of these guys, give you one of these guys. Bamsis, going up here to Count Noctilus, Regiment of Renown. Um, cannot recruit the unit. Oh, that's because I have to go to Count Noctilus and do this number. Boom, flagship. Still cannot recruit it. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe I have to wait till next turn. It's all good. We will figure it out. Uh, regenerative hole. That looks like a really good one, actually. Sea curse um, of the von Karstein vandal. Let's go ahead and do regenerative hole. Uh, ooh. So this gives me a Morngol haunter. Do I have one of them yet? I do. But that would give me one I could stick on her. Um, oh, but it doesn't, no. It doesn't say it gives me another population for Morgul. It just unlocks the recruitment of them. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe that'll count. But, for the moment, let's see here. First, Galleon Graveyard. I need four population. We have three ten turns. Cost me 4,000. Okay, we will be fine with that one. This one cannot be upgraded. Oh, Star Tower can be upgraded. Okay, well that's that changes things a little bit. We need money, so eh, that's not really a big upgrade. Um, back over here to Count Noctilus. I'm going to go ahead and get the cargo hold. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see what else can I do. That reduces my upkeep for my units. That's a very good one to get. I'm going to go ahead and do that because, you know, upkeep means less upkeep means more money and more troops. Replenishing health of troops. Very nice. You training. Nice. Okay. You replenishing health again. Nice. Bam. Alrighty, so we build a couple things. Ari Fen has gained rank. Alright, so first things first, back over to the troopies, regiments of renown. I still cannot recruit him. And it's not telling me why. Does that mean I have a quest that I have to do? I don't know. So let's try this. I'm going to put you in super move. We're going to send you to the graveyard. Real quick. Boom, you're in the graveyard. Now you can recruit it. Okay, so needed to be in a structure for whatever reason. I'll leave. And then you. You're going to head over here. Skill points. So this is Ari Fen, our Morngal Haunter. The Insatiable Hunger. That's a really good one, but so is a hard to hit giving him more defense, making him harder to kill. That is mainly what I'm focusing on. So, I have a question here. Okay, a lot of people gain the sea legs ability, which is nice. Um, under my research, I did get two toes Adley, but this is not two toes Adley. So, let's see, first off, I'm going to remove that. 
I'm thinking of going like this and swapping you out. And then you can have the scroll of leeching, because why not? And then there's a weapon. Nope. Enchanted item. Unbreakable. Yeah, why not? Um, Alright. Well, actually, no. I don't think that'd be good on here. Let's go over to... Count Noctilus and give it to him. Because, honestly, I think it'd be better on him. But, you know, whatever. Alright. Hmm. Jacqueline Sinkswell. This is the one that we just replaced with Two Toes Adley. So you're getting this. Yep. Alright. Anyways, so that's taken care of. This is one of our legendary peoples. So, well, they're not really legendary. Like, they're not legendary like the leader, but they're our special group for our uh, fleet. So we're going to live with that. Alright, so let's go up here. We're going to try and catch and track down that group of exotic goods haulers. Not 100% sure where they're at. This might just be telling me the spot where they spawned. No, they're moving. Okay, so we keep heading in this direction. We'll catch them. Ship upgrade is available. Okay, yeah, I'm doing that. That right there, the reason you want to upgrade the main element of your ship is because it reduces the upkeep of your ship and it increases the population growth on your ship. Alrighty. We have a population surplus in the volcanic islands. That's down here. It should be enough for us to upgrade. So next turn we'll have enough money, as long as I don't spend it on this, uh, we will have enough money to upgrade the star tower to level 2, which will give us more um, of everything. Money, population growth, you know, all that good stuff. Let's see. I want you to head like right there. Okay, so this one. Oh, wait, you're not in super move. Yeah, this one still doesn't move fast enough. Tiny bit slower. So I'm going to need that one to take the uh, advanced lead on this. Oh. Alrighty, so we got new research. Very nice. So first things first, I'm actually going to do this one first. Um, because she moves slower than Count Noctilus does. Alright, research. Let's see here. So, do, 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 do. let's see, what do we want? Um, da, 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 da. This one's going to uh, lower the upkeep for a bunch of stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Settlement upgrade. The star tower is going to level three. Woohoo! Money, money, money. Mama. Sorry, I had to. Okay, Clan Eshin has been obliterated. That's down here. I'm going to take it that happened by the other pirate guys. The Yeah, it was. <clears throat> so, alright. 
Um, the Star Tower can now upgrade this. That means more money. Money means more troops. More troops means more power. More power means easier to win. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, you first. Except you have a level up. Someone here does. Uh, let's go there. Uh, that's the orc boys again. Actually, let's do this. Uh, click on you. Yeah, we're not far. Okay. Good. They don't seem to be moving very fast either. But, you know, that's their own business. Do 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 Unassigned skill points. So, Robbie Holloway, our gunnery right, has gained a level. There's the Enchanted Ballistics, Powder Keg, Dead Eyes, and Shark Bait. Shark Bait increases melee defense and hit points. Well, there you go. Then we have Cat Black Sail, our Vampire Captain Fleet. Fleet Captain of the Deeps. We could learn Spiteful Shot. Um, but I want to make them tankier. I want to make them so that they can't die. Alright, so next mission is to be at war with the Knights of Rigo. Take 10 turns. Okay. Gives us this. Ooh. Might want to go ahead and do that now, because the uh, movement speed's always nice. Alright, where's the Knights, Bretonian Knights of Rigo? You're a weakling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guess what? Poop. Alright, so we got Abominable Power. That gives us movement speed. Let's go to this one. Up there somewhere. Ha! Found you. Right next to one of our enemies. Kalidor. If you remember Kalidor, that was the elves that were right next to us at the very beginning of the game that we had to sink one of their fleets. All right, so Archon the Black, which is the followers of the Gash, want 300 gold for a non-aggression pact. Normally, I would say poo on you, but their positioning is pretty decent. We could actually use them in a manner of speaking. So I'm going to accept it because I'd rather not fight them. If I can get in a trade deal with them, that'd be nice. Money. Money, money. Plus, they are not very friendly with humans or elves. Jacqueline Sinkwell is now ready for duty. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and put it on normal speed and see if we can catch up. We did catch up. Alright. And we found the Lothern, which is the probably the most threatening high elf group, but it's whatever. Alright, here we go. To war! Alrighty, and we will be fighting this battle. Pretty close odds. Um, my biggest issue here is probably going to be their cannons and the shock cavalry of theirs. They have a lot of range, too, though. Well, this will be an interesting battle, regardless. So let's get it on. Alrighty, here we are. So we're going to start our deployment. Um, okay, we see where they're positioned. Let's take the mortar and move it forward a little bit so we can see. We want the mortar to be able to hit those cannons. That's, that's our intent. We want to blow up cannons with the mortar. Okay, we will leave you there. Let's take these guys. 
and do this with them. A little bit over more. Okay, grouping. Do not like you running away from skirmish. Then we're going to take our pike guys, group them up, move them right about there. These guys, group them up, move them up here. You can move here. You can stand over here next to the cannon. Mortar, excuse me. And then my large group of heroes are going to move up here. Bamsis. I will start the battle. Mortar. Kill the cannon. You. Kill the other cannon. Alright, reinforcements are arriving from over here in this corner. So those cannons are actually shooting at... Uh, somewhere over here. One of these guys. Okay. Pausing it real quick, because I'm pretty sure my reinforcements... Nope, they're not all here yet. Need them all to get here. Do, 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 Alrighty. Oh, they're still coming. In the meantime, mortar fire. And it's going down. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. So, all the reinforcements are finally here. We're going to take all these guys. They're going to go over here. We're going to take these guys. They're going to go like right here. All the gun crews that they've got. Going to go over here. Basically, that army will be over here. Um, let's see. Heroes, uh, we got you and you. Um, I believe that is the entire second army. I'm going to group you just so I know which ones you are as opposed to the first group. And they're going to move over there. Boom. Now then. Oh, we are not entirely here yet. Still waiting on my beasties. Okay, so the rotting Prometheans, they will group up, they will head over here, come on, alright, in the meantime, the mortars and cannons are going to town, blambo, looks like the, uh, our Colossus is a lot better off at aiming than our mortars are, in terms of anti- their artillery. So our artillery are going to be shooting and stuff until we're ready. They don't... Oh, they're moving. Okay, they're beginning to react to what we've got going on here. They don't like it. We have a mass of more numbers than they do. And they're realizing they're losing in this long-range combat. Alrighty. Okay. Pausing the game because now. Okay, so they're in a full out charge. Not very good for them, but, you know, I don't really... I'm not worried about what they decide to do. Oh, look, they've got a siege artillery up there. Oh, their third cannon. I was wondering where that was. Anyways, so... I need this guy to go here. In fact, I'm going to take two of them and go over there. These guys will charge their great swords. Great swords. Their halberdiers. Halberdiers. Great swords. Uh, you'll go after that great sword. There's a knight for you. 
and a knight for you. Alright, it looks like the Prometheans have positioned themselves, so they're going to swing around the backside here. Actually, I'm going to have that one just go for the artillery. That one will go for that one. Blambo. Alright. You guys. Um, actually, I'm going to have you wait a little bit more. Let's see. You're not the one I'm looking for. You're the one I'm looking for. Okay, I don't know why you have this retreat mode on, but whatever. I want you to shoot at Leonard. This guy. Uh, we'll, we'll wait with some of them. Um, do 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 do. Alright, let's go. Let's see what we got going here. The undead hordes have started moving. Oh, and they're they're kinda half panicking. Ooh! Okay, Necrofax, you're getting back. You're you're backing up out of there. I don't I don't like that at all. Move. No. I do not want to lose this Necrofex Colossus. That would be a very bad day. Where did that group come from? They just kind of spawned. That's interesting. Is this guy disintegrating on me? That's not cool, man. Need you to stop disintegrating. I'm going to have you withdraw for now. No, no, stop. You're just going to stand here. Okay. Why are you charging off? You! Mortars! What are you doing? Okay. Pausing it, because now we got to get this side going. Alright, um, let's see. Here, we have halberdiers. They're going after cavalries. This whole group is going to go after that guy right there. And then we got a whole bunch of melees going after a whole bunch of melees because that's what we do all right you two you're gonna have to move forward a little bit yeah we're probably about right there all of these guns this is group um, not three six I want you to move forward I'm gonna take these two after that one and these two after that one then we're going to go over here to these guys. They're both going to sit there. I want you to kill these halberdiers. This one is going to shoot at those great sword guys. This one's going to shoot at these cavalries. Um, I'm going to have this guy. He's going to charge in here on the halberdiers. This one, I want you to move forward here. You're going to move forward over here. And you throw a bomb on that guy. In fact, let's watch him do it. Or her. Gunnery Wright is uh, a guy. Okay, we're going to watch him do it. Blambo. Nice. All right, you're gonna go ahead and actually, I want, I do want you to keep. Well, yeah, just do that. Actually, I want you to go over here to those reeks guards. We're gonna pin them. Pew 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 pew. pew. Okay, mortar. I need you to shoot at that one. Or actually, you know what? Shoot at these guys. Ah! My mortar's about to get hit. this one to go charging over here after these guys. We're not going to be able to save the mortars. There's no way. Our mortars are taking huge damage right now. 
Someone died. That's over here. This side of the war. Looks like our big, uh, big guys went down. And not just one of them, we're losing all of them. Sad day. Do do do. But regardless, the battle is going. All right, I want you to. You're going after this guy. I want you to leech life him. And then aspect of the dread knight on yourself. Back over to this battle. Okay, I don't know why you're over here being crazy, but okay. I want you to come back, if you can. Pick up your mortars. And then shoot at that guy. Shoot at that guy. <clears throat> this is this is a little bit more complicated than it might look. Two battles at once, basically. Okay, so most of this group right here is actually trying to kill their leader. But he's he's done for. We will leech upon his life, yes. Do 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 do. What are you two doing? Nothing. Oh, I see. The, that great sword split out like that. All right. Can you leech life again yet? No. But he's got no health whatsoever. Have the Morngall come over here. Count Noctilus. She's gonna make the cannon shoot you. Ha! And we got their leader. All right. Whatever's left. Um, I'm actually gonna have these guys. Well, one of these guys is gonna turn up here. Go kill them. This part of the army is moving forward. They're pretty much completely broken at this point. That's the end of that. I'm not going to say it was easy, because it was definitely not. Did I lose somebody? Did I lose one of my leaders? That's not cool at all. Ew. Alrighty, so I can choose money, loyalty, or units replenishment rate. It looks like I lost cat black sale. That's kind of not cool. That's very not cool. Um, let's go with money. What? No way I did not kill you. Alright, well this one's going to come in here and we're going to finish it. Put Ambo. 
Lost a lot of stuff. Alright, so, anyways, there's all that. We're going to take Count Noctilus now back to the Galleon's Graveyard. And we're going to do the same with Two Toes Adley. You're also going to head towards the Galleon's Graveyard. Unsigned skill points. Alright. The Vampire Fleet Master of Death. Uh, hard to hit. Two Toes Adley. Route Marcher. Yeah. Next one, Ari Fen. Hard to hit. Yeah. And then I lost one, so we have to go over here. Do 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 to recruit hero. It was a vampire of the deeps. Uh, fleet footed. Speed and combat penalties cut the trainer ignored. Eh, why not? I mean it's not really the best, but it's something. And you're meeting up with Count Oxalis. Another thing that I'm going to do is over here, there's this Curse of the Queen's Cannon, which gives me this access to this gigantic Queen Best Cannon. And it increases our casualty replenishment rate. So I'm going to do this. Whoosh. And when I can, I'm going to recruit that into my fleet. In the meantime, we're going to go around and see if there's anything I can upgrade. And the answer is no. Alrighty then. On to the next turn. Alrighty, so we have the Star Tower to upgrade some stuff in, very nice. We can get a bigger port, that's money, bigger one of these, money, and we can get the Trader's Thing, that's money. So money, 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 money. And then we're moving everybody. There's a ship upgrade available. I'll worry about that later, though. Um, so let's move everybody. And, yeah. All right, everybody. So this is pretty much going to be it for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that you saw. If you did, please let me know with a thumbs up. And if you did not, then I apologize for wasting your time. Um, thank you for watching. This is Takahitsu from Takahitsu Gaming. And have a wonderful evening.